Hi again, it's Jason from Fraser Valley Rose Farm. I thought I'd make a timely video, at least for me, on the pros and cons of soaking seeds or why you might do that to help with the germination of seeds. Now I have some seeds soaking right now, that's why it's timely for me. And you may notice from the landscape behind me and the timing of the video that right now is late fall, almost winter. I do three windows of seeding a year. I do an early spring for many of my annuals and quick perennials. I do a late summer seeding for perennials that need growing on in the fall and then ready for the next season and I do a winter seeding or I guess a late fall early winter seeding like right now where I put on shrubs and perennials that require a vernalization period or a stratification period a cold treatment for the seeds to germinate it's a long way of saying that's why I'm soaking seeds right now but why do I do that well, the most basic reason to soak your seeds is because seeds require water to germinate. You store them cool and dry, and then if you soak them, you can hasten up that uh, taking up of water, imbibition they call it, where what you'll see is the small pea seed, small and wrinkled, uh, swell out and go to its full size and be ready to send out that first seed root and seed leaves. Now, do they actually need a soak to do this? No, actually most plants in nature don't get a full on dunking down or soaking of water. They just absorb the moisture from the environment around them when they're ready. So do you need it? Not necessarily. Will it do any harm? No. And this is why oftentimes with some of those larger seeds that are easy to handle, things like beans, peas, corn, eggplant, uh, let's say beets as well are relatively on the large size for veggie seeds and the veggie growers often will recommend you give them a quick soaking if it doesn't interfere with your handling and there's the only disadvantage is that a hard bean you can actually handle that through an automatic seeder many of these things you can handle through an automatic seeder or you can sprinkle them more easily oftentimes when you take small seeds and you soak them they'll almost turn into a congealed paste together and it makes the handling of them harder so if they're a small seed or it's going to make the handling harder, I would not recommend it. You don't need it. But generally, soaking for 24 hours or a day isn't going to harm anything much longer than that. And you could soak too long and that will be a detriment as well. The first add-on I'm going to talk about is hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, which is an extra molecule of oxygen. Seeds actually generate their own hydrogen peroxide inside of them as a step to starting germination. But really old seeds, seed that's viability has been reduced. Produced, uh, can have trouble producing that uh, or getting their metabolism going so adding a little bit of hydrogen peroxide can take particularly as I say old seeds with poor viability and raise up their germination numbers and this is uh, actually well supported by the evidence now what is the concentration you would use it's from 0.1% all the way up to about 1% I see the uh, the pepper seeds people the people who use the super hot peppers which are infamously have poor germination sometimes using up to 1% hydrogen peroxide to push extra germination the soak is still for the same duration roughly overnight or 24 hours and that should help you with uh, germination on those older seeds shouldn't really be necessary for new or fresh seed some species of plants and some seeds like the ones I'm starting right now require a little extra convincing to tell them that they are germinating in the correct season. They have germination inhibitors built into their seed coats that stop them from germinating before they've had their cold periods. So they want to wait until after winter so that they have the right timing to germinate. Uh, even so, some of them can be pretty reluctant wanting to go one or two winter seasons before they get that, uh, that cold treatment in that they wanted. So one of the treatments that I'm using, and you'll see the water's a little bit brown, is a seaweed extract, which the research well supports uh, certain seaweed extracts extracts do help with germination and the supplier that I went through for these seeds actually recommended it so I'm doing a 24 hour soak for all seeds that are large enough to handle easily uh, in that uh, in that seaweed extract. Now there are some other treatments that you can use uh, that you can Google. You probably would want specific regimens for specific seeds. Acid does a good job uh, on some seeds. Gibberellic acid, which is a plant growth regulator, does well on some seeds. Before I was talking about sulfuric acid, for instance. Gibberellic acid is the second one. And then some seeds actually require a treatment with a smoke or a, a smoke water, they call it, uh, depending on the seed. So uh, this is where it comes down to. You have to do a bit of googling to figure out what is the scarification and stratification requirements of your seeds and what are some of the recommended treatments. 
The final treatment I'm going to discuss today that involves soaking in water is hot water treatment. And some seeds, including things like lupins, mimosa, maybe agapanthus, those ones actually benefit strongly from a short treatment in hot water. 50 degrees Celsius, 125 degrees Fahrenheit for as little as five minutes can make a big difference in the germination on these varieties. Hot water treatment, by the way, can also be used in a longer duration, up to 20 minutes, for disinfecting seeds, which you can also use a higher concentration of hydrogen peroxide or bleach. But I would really only worry about disinfecting your seeds if you've had an issue or you know of an issue with pathogens in that same seed variety. All right, that's all I had for you on why and how you would soak your seeds and what are the benefits, pros and cons. If you have any questions, please drop those down in the comments of the video. There's lots of specifics to attach to this, so I expect there's some people who have some experience with it. Thanks so much.